Hot chocolate, also known as drinking chocolate, cocoa, and as chocolate tea in Nigeria, is a heated drink consisting of shaved chocolate, melted chocolate or cocoa powder, heated milk or water, and usually a sweetener. Hot chocolate may be topped with whipped cream or marshmallows. Hot chocolate made with melted chocolate is sometimes called drinking chocolate, characterized by less sweetness and a thicker consistency. The first chocolate drink is believed to have been created by the Mayans around 2,500 to 3,000 years ago, and a cocoa drink was an essential part of Aztec culture by 1400 AD, by which they referred to as chocolatl. The drink became popular in Europe after being introduced from Mexico in the New World and has undergone multiple changes since then. Until the 19th century, hot chocolate was even used medicinally to treat ailments such as liver and stomach diseases. Hot chocolate is consumed throughout the world and comes in multiple variations, including the spiced chocolate para mesa of Latin America, the very thick chocolata calda served in Italy and chocolate a la taza served in Spain, and the thinner hot cocoa consumed in the United States. Prepared hot chocolate can be purchased from a range of establishments, including cafeterias, fast food restaurants, coffeehouses and teahouses. Powdered hot chocolate mixes, which can be added to boiling water or hot milk to make the drink at home, are sold at grocery stores and online. History Arachelogists have found evidence that Mayan chocolate consumption occurred as early as 500 BC, and there is speculation that chocolate predates even the Mayans. To make the chocolate drink, which was served cold, the Maya ground cocoa seeds into a paste and mixed it with water, cornmeal, chili peppers, and other ingredients. They then poured the drink back and forth from a cup to a pot until a thick foam developed. Chocolate was available to Maya of all social classes, although the wealthy drank chocolate from large spouted vessels that were often buried with elites an early classic period 460 to 480 AD Mayan tomb from the site of Rio Azul Guatemala had vessels with the Maya glyph for cacao on them with residue of a chocolate drink because sugar was yet to come to the Americas chocolatl was said to be an acquired taste what the Spaniards then called chocolatl was said to be a drink consisting of a chocolate base flavored with vanilla and other spices that was served cold the drink tasted spicy and bitter as opposed to sweetened modern hot chocolate. As to when chocolatl was first served hot, sources conflict on when and by whom. However, José de Acosta, a Spanish Jesuit missionary who lived in Peru and then Mexico in the later 16th century, described chocolatl as loathsome to such as are not acquainted with it, having a scum or froth that is very unpleasant taste. Yet it is a drink very much esteemed among the Indians, wherewith they feast noblemen who pass through their country. The Spaniards, both men and women, that are accustomed to the country, are very greedy of this chocolate. They say they make diverse sorts of it, some hot, some cold, and some temperate, and put therein much of that chili. Yea, they make paste thereof, the which they say is good for the stomach and against the catarrh. Within Mesoamerica many drinks were made from cacao beans, and further enhanced by nari like vanilla to add flavor. This was a tribute to the Aztecs. The Aztecs, or Mexica, required conquered people to provide them with chocolate. Cups, gourds, cacao beans, as well as others things they acquired were listed in the essential Codex Mendoza. Cacao became used as a currency throughout Mesoamerica. The Aztecs used chocolate to show high status, it was a bad omen for someone low or common to drink chocolate. Europeans' first recorded contact with chocolate wasn't until 1502 on Columbus's fourth voyage. European adaptation After defeating Montezuma's warriors and demanding that the Aztec nobles hand over their valuables, Cortés returned to Spain in 1528, bringing cocoa beans and chocolate drink-making equipment with them. At this time, chocolate still only existed in the bitter drink invented by the Mayas. Sweet hot chocolate and bar chocolate were yet to be invented. After its introduction to Europe, the drink slowly gained popularity. The court of King Charles V soon adopted the drink, and what was then only known as chocolate became a fashionable drink popular with the Spanish upper class. Additionally, cocoa was given as a dowry when members of the Spanish royal family married other European aristocrats. 
At the time, chocolate was very expensive in Europe because the cocoa beans only grew in South America. Sweet tasting hot chocolate was then invented, leading hot chocolate to become a luxury item among the European nobility by the 17th century. Even when the first chocolate house an establishment similar to a modern coffee shop opened in 1657, chocolate was still very expensive, costing 50 to 75 pence approximately 10 to 15 shillings a pound roughly 45 pounds minus 65 in 2016. At the time, hot chocolate was often mixed with spices for flavor. One notable recipe was hot chocolate, infused with fresh jasmine flowers, amber, musk, vanilla and ambergris. In the late 17th century, Hans Sloan, president of the Royal College of Physicians, visited Jamaica. There, he tried chocolate and considered it nauseous, but found it became more palatable when mixed with milk. When he returned to England, he brought the recipe with him, introducing milk chocolate to England. The aristocratic nature of the drink led to chocolate being referred to as the drink of the gods. In 1797, the Spanish began to use jacaras made of porcelain in place of the hollowed gourds used by the natives. They then further tinkered with the recipes by using spices such as cinnamon, black pepper, anise, and sesame. Many of these things were used to try to recreate the flavor of the native flowers which they could not easily acquire. Black pepper was used to replace chilies and mecosochil, cinnamon was used in place of orihuelas, sugar replaced honey. The goal was to create a whole new version to chocolate that they could call their own. In 1828, Coenrod Johannes van Houten developed the first cocoa powder producing machine in the Netherlands. The press separated the greasy cocoa butter from cacao seeds, leaving a pure chocolate powder behind. This powder, much like instant cocoa powder used today, was easier to stir into milk and water. As a result, another very important discovery was made, solid chocolate. By using cocoa powder and low amounts of cocoa butter, it was then possible to manufacture chocolate bars. The term, chocolate then came to mean solid chocolate rather than hot chocolate, with the first chocolate bar being created in 1847. <inaudible> <inaudible> Terminology A distinction is sometimes made between hot cocoa, made from powder made by removing most of the rich cocoa butter from the ground cacao beans, and hot chocolate. Made directly from bar chocolate, which already contains cocoa, sugar, and cocoa butter. Thus, the major difference between the two is the cocoa butter, the absence of which makes hot cocoa significantly lower in fat than hot chocolate while still preserving all the antioxidants found in chocolate. Hot chocolate can be made with dark, semi sweet, or bittersweet chocolate chopped into small pieces and stirred into milk with the addition of sugar. American instant hot cocoa powder often includes powdered milk or other dairy ingredients so it can be made without using milk. In the United Kingdom, hot chocolate is a sweet chocolate drink made with hot milk or water, and powder containing chocolate, sugar, and powdered milk. Cocoa usually refers to a similar drink made with just hot milk and cocoa powder, then sweetened to taste with sugar or not sweetened at all. Usage Today, hot chocolate in the form of drinking chocolate or cocoa is considered a comfort food and is widely consumed in many parts of the world. European hot chocolate tends to be relatively thick and rich, while in the United States the thinner instant version is consumed more often. In Nigeria hot chocolate is referred to as tea. Even though it is not actually a tea due to the Nigerian custom of referring to drinks consumed in the morning as tea. Many regions have distinctive additives or toppings, ranging from marshmallow and whipped cream to cheese. <laughs> Europe In mainland Europe, particularly Spain and Italy, hot chocolate is sometimes served very thick due to the use of a thickening agent such as cornstarch. One of the thick forms of hot chocolate served in Europe is the Italian chocolata calda. Hot chocolate with churros is the traditional working man's breakfast in Spain. This style of hot chocolate can be extremely thick, often having the consistency of warm chocolate pudding. In the Netherlands, hot chocolate is a very popular drink, known as warma chocolademelk, it is often served at home or in cafes. 
In France, hot chocolate is often served at breakfast time, sometimes sliced bread spread with butter, jam, honey, or Nutella is dunked into the hot chocolate. In Germany, hot chocolate made by melted chocolate Wiener Art is distinguished from those made from powders Trinkschokolade. It is often served with whipped cream on top, even further variations of hot chocolate exist. In some cafés in Belgium and other areas in Europe, one who orders a warma chocolate or chocolat chaud receives a cup of steaming white milk and a small bowl of bittersweet chocolate chips to dissolve in the milk. One Viennese variant hay chocolate wiener art contains an egg yolk for thickness. North America In the United States and Canada, the drink is popular in instant form, made with hot water or milk from a packet containing mostly cocoa powder, sugar, and dry milk. This is the thinner of the two main variations. It is very sweet and may be topped with marshmallows, whipped cream, or a piece of solid chocolate. Hot chocolate was first brought to North America as early as the 17th century by the Dutch, but the first time colonists began selling hot chocolate was around 1755. Traditionally, hot chocolate has been associated with cold weather, winter, and dessert in the United States and Canada. In Mexico, hot chocolate remains a popular national drink, often including semi sweet chocolate, cinnamon, sugar, and vanilla. Hot chocolate of this type is commonly sold in circular or hexagonal tablets, which can be dissolved into hot milk, water, or cream, and then blended until the mixture develops a creamy froth. A 1942 article in the Chicago Tribune describes Mexican cinnamon hot chocolate as being traditionally served alongside a variety of sweet Mexican pastries, such as pan dulce or churros. South America In Colombia, a hot chocolate drink made with milk and water using a chocolatera and molinillo is enjoyed as part of breakfast with bread and soft, fresh farmer's cheese. Colombian hot chocolate is often topped with a soft farmer's cheese or other mild cheese. Similarly, hot chocolate in Ecuador is often topped with cheese. In Peru, hot chocolate can be served with panettona at breakfast on Christmas Day, even though summer has already started in the southern hemisphere. In addition, many Peruvians will add a sweet chocolate syrup to their drink. The Argentinian Submarino is a hot chocolate drink made from adding a chocolate bar and sugar to hot steamed milk. <laughs> Health Although hot chocolate is generally consumed for pleasure, the drink confers several potential health benefits. A 2003 study from Cornell University found that cocoa contains large amounts of antioxidants that may help prevent cancer. Also, it has been demonstrated that the cocoa bean helps with digestion. From the 16th to 19th centuries, hot chocolate was valued as a medicine as well as a drink. The explorer Francisco Hernandez wrote that chocolate drinks help treat fever and liver disease. Another explorer, Santiago de Valverde Teresas, believed that large amounts of hot chocolate were helpful in treating chest ailments and that smaller amounts could help stomach disorders. When chocolate was introduced to the French in the 17th century, it was reportedly used to fight against fits of anger and bad moods, which may be attributed to chocolate's phenylethylamine content. Today, hot chocolate is consumed for pleasure rather than medicinally, but new research suggests that there may be other health benefits attributed to the drink. On the other hand, several negative effects can be attributed to drinking hot chocolate, as some hot chocolate recipes contain high amounts of sugar, hydrogenated oils, or fats. Back when chocolate was first taking root in popularity it was opposed by the Catholic Church. It was seen to lack the ability to break fast, seeing as it was consumed in its liquid form. Coffee was the other popular trend which was seen as good for the body but bad for the mind. Chocolate began being consumed as a way to replenish one's body from the effects that coffee caused. Template, this sentence contradicts the previous sentence it was said to nourish one's body and potency. <laughs> <laughs> Benefits Research has shown that the consumption of hot chocolate can be positive to one's health. A study conducted by Cornell University has shown that hot chocolate contains more antioxidants than wine and tea, therefore reducing the risk of heart disease. 
In a single serving of cocoa, the researchers found 611 mg of gallic acid equivalents and 564 mg of epicatechin equivalents ECE, compared with 340 mg of gai and 163 mg of ECE in red wine, and 165 mg of gai and 47 mg of ECE in green tea. Chong Yong Li, the professor and researcher at Cornell who conducted the study, revealed that larger amounts of antioxidants are released when the drink is heated. The flavonoids found in the cocoa that makes up hot chocolate also have a positive effect on arterial health. A particular study performed by the National Institutes of Health, partially supported by Mars Chocolate Company, showed high amounts of improvement in blood flow after drinking a flavonol rich cocoa drink. In the study, the subjects 27 people ages 18 to 72 drank a cocoa drink containing 900 mg of flavanols every day, which resulted in an improvement in blood flow and the function of endothelial cells that line blood vessels. In further studies conducted by Dr. Norman K. Hollenberg, professor of medicine at Brigham and Women's Hospital and Harvard Medical School found that flavanols may also help vessels dilate and help keep platelets from clustering on the blood vessel walls. Flavonoids found in hot chocolate are beneficial to health mainly because they shield the walls of blood vessels from free radical damage. Flavanols are also thought to help reduce blood platelet buildup and can balance levels of compounds called eicosanoids, which may be beneficial to cardiovascular health. Risks <inaudible> 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 Several negative effects may be attributed to the drinking of hot chocolate. The types and severity of health risks vary between different styles of hot chocolate. Hot chocolate made from milk also contains the sugars naturally found in milk. Processed cocoa powder usually contains additional sugars. Some brands also contain hydrogenated oils and fats, the most common of which are coconut derivatives. See also Champarado, hot chocolate's Mexican counterpart Chocolate milk Question moral, see el chocolate quebranta el ayuno ecclesiastico whether chocolate breaks ecclesiastical fast, a moral question. Hot chocolate effect List of chocolate drinks List of hot drinks <laughs>